What is Lyme disease? Every month in the U.S., more than 2,000 cases of Lyme disease are reported. Lyme disease is caused by a tick bite that carries the infection. There are different stages of a tick, larva, nymph, and adult. Though the adult ticks are more likely to have the infection, the nymphs are more capable of spreading it because of their size. Looking at this map, there are more cases on the east and west coast. The red color indicates the highest rates of infection. Yellow is still high up there and is more widespread. Signs and symptoms. Stage 1, early localized stage. After 3 to 30 days after the tick bite, the skin around the bite might become a rash. This rash is commonly called the bullseye rash. Along with the rash, the victim might feel headaches, fever, fatigue, or muscle and joint pain. Stage 2, early disseminated stage. This stage can occur days to weeks after the infected tick bite. If left untreated by this stage, one might suffer from spreading bullseye rashes. Bell's palsy, which is the loss of muscle tone on one or both sides of the face, is caused by Lyme meningitis, which can also give the victim headaches and stiffness in the neck. Pain and swelling in the large joints, such as the knees, are also common at this stage. Stage 3, late disseminated stage. This stage can start months to years after being bitten. About 60% of patients who go untreated for Lyme disease may endure arthritis, suffering severe joint pain and swelling. About 5% have more severe symptoms, such as chronic neurological problems. Prevention People When you go hiking, avoid bushy or heavily wooded areas with high grass and leaf litter. You can repel ticks with DEET or permethrin. This is highly recommended for children. A vaccine used to be available to protect one against Lyme disease, but was discontinued in 2002 because of low demand. The proper way to remove a tick is to use tweezers to grab the mouth parts of the tick and gently pull them out, then clean the bite mark with soap and water. If your children spend a lot of time outdoors, here are some ways to keep them away from any harmful bites. Use insect repellent containing 10 to 30 percent of DEET. Have children wear closed-toed shoes, long sleeve shirts, and long pants. Also have kids wear hats and pull their hair back. Pets. For dogs, purchase collars that contain either a caricides or tick repellent. Yard. Keep playground equipment, decks, and patios away from trees and bushy areas and place them in a sunny location if possible. Be consistent in mowing the lawn and raking up leaves. Clear grasses and brush around homes and at the edge of lawns. Keep any stacks of wood neat and in a dry place in order to keep rats away, which can be home to unwanted ticks. Congratulations! You made it to the end of this video! Really? That's neat. Hope you learned something from this topic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.